people want local food. And you are a beacon. You are the influencers. You are the change makers in your groups. So don't underestimate the power of you buying local food because you're affecting your family, your street, your community, your region. It's happening everywhere. And do not underestimate your power in driving this. Because every mouthful you chew is affecting the future of our food system. And let's not, let's not be overwhelmed by the debate that it's more expensive or it's cheaper. Because the real price is hidden elsewhere. And we each need to expose these challenges, just as the berries is one example I know we've already been working for, year, for the last four years on a people's food plan and getting people involved in making democratic decisions about your own food and agriculture systems. That's what food sovereignty is about. And we need to go back to taking control of those, those decisions and not letting the government make them for us and not letting the government drive producers and providors out of business with unrealistic and unfair regulation when you just want to buy their honest food directly from people like me and others. Yeah. You already are. Keep drinking your raw milk. I'm going to keep drinking mine. Yeah. Uh, and and just keep fighting. Keep your voice going. Don't let it, don't let it die away just because the government thinks they've dealt with the raw milk problem because they've tainted all the milk now. So none of the producers are even producing it anymore. Stop letting them create black markets for safe food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. These are the issues we need to share. It is positive. There is lots of things going on everywhere I go. Sustainable Living Festivals next week. Earth Hour, the theme for Earth Hour this year is food and farming. So it's, it's influencing every corner of every activist because it's not gonna be activism forever. We're going to change it. So stay strong, chew carefully. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.